Today, we're going to look at the Lindell 7X 500 series compressor. Thanks for joining me at Smith Music. My name is Paul Smith and I bring you in the studio and backstage as well as do gear reviews and show musicians how to build careers. The Lindell 7X500 is an affordable 500 series compressor emulation of the Universal Audio 1176 compressor. I've owned four of these for about four years. I primarily use them to highly compress drum room mics or on a drum parallel bus. There's some things I really like about them and some things I don't really like. Here's the pros. They're really affordable. In the right situation, they sound fantastic. They do have a bit of that 1176 vibe happening. The cons are that of the four units that I have, none of them match each other, so they're hard to use in stereo pairs. One of them has a sticky bypass knob. The threshold is very sensitive. It's tough to only get a little compression on this unit. Here's the kick and the snare raw. Lots of hi-hat bleed in that snare. Um, so I just used some drum leveler to get rid of that and to uh, tighten up the kick. The kick is actually like a kick in and out mixed together. Uh, both of those are going to be sent out to the hardware. Um, just a little bit of EQ and a little bit of envelope or not a ton of stuff going on here. These examples are extreme. Uh, not necessarily what you'd mix with, uh, depending on your situation, but I'm wanting you to hear extreme examples of uh, this compressor working. So let's start off with kick drum here. Try to get just a little bit of compression. Now the meters are really sensitive, but we're getting anywhere from like four to five dB of compression to 20. But, it sounds good slamming it all the way. Now I have it on the 101, 101 ratio. Let's compress everything with the side chain. Crazy snappy. Can't really control that decay very well. Twelve to one.
I would not use this uh, compressor on this kick sound. I wouldn't use this kick sound. Um, it's a really hard um, uh, kick. It could be fixed, but uh, that's uh, not a great place to start. Um, but you can see that you can get a fair bit of snap out of things, but it's not as controllable like for the decay. Um, it's pretty limited. When it works, it works, and when it doesn't, it doesn't. Let's try this on snare. If you're finding this video helpful, I'd really appreciate you liking the video and subscribing to my channel. Okay, so we're gonna start off at four to one. Fastest. So bad. Yeah, I would leave that side chain off. I typically use this for the all buttons mode, for the 100 to 1. So, so it's, it's pretty good. Um, uh, it takes you a bit of the way there, but uh, certainly not the most versatile compressor on drums, which is um, kind of shocking because the um, this is an emulation, a hardware emulation of the 1176 to do a similar kind of thing. Um, and I find it most useful um, on like bus compression where I'm really, uh, you know, compressing it and you don't really like you're not uh, um, going for a super hi-fi sound, um, which it works pretty good in. And uh, sometimes if you just have like, you use a single one if you have like a crushed snare, they don't match up very well from a stereo perspective. Um, and uh, um, so it kind of gets you into the door with some 500 series stuff. Um, not my favorite compressor. And as with anything, there's a time and a place. Um, I want to like them more, to be honest. I really want to like them more. If you have questions about the Lindell 7X500, post them in the comments and I'll be glad to answer them. To find links to any equipment or software used in this video, check out the description.